Welcome back to the FactFinder instructional video series. In the first video, we covered the App Center and the Top Transactions tab, the views where you start your workflow in FactFinder. In this video, we're going to explore an individual application, transaction, and machine. Let's start with an application. In the App Center, I'm going to click on the application that I want to explore, this Myco web portal. If I give it a double click, I get a new tab, the App Explorer for this application. The App Explorer is a filtered view showing just the components serving this application. There are several components of this view. The first is right in the center of your screen, the application topology map. The second are these graphs showing performance over the last 10 minutes. The third is the zoom and overlay buttons. The fourth is the historical time controls. And the fifth is the events and alerts pane. Let's start by looking at the map. First, I'm going to use the zoom controls to expand the information shown in this view. Each of these gray boxes represents a server in this environment. Each white cell indicates a process on that server that is serving transactions for the Myco web portal. Each purple line between them represents a TCP dependency where transactions are flowing. You'll notice that several of these servers have a blue bar underneath them. That indicates that this server is a virtual machine and lists the host system underneath. At the left, you can see the client cloud. That shows us that we've got two clients connected. And these blue arrows, those indicate where those clients are coming into this application system. At the left, I can see the KPIs for this application over the last 10 minutes. The average response time, which you can see has suddenly gotten higher. And the traffic load on this application, which you can see has dropped off at the same time. We'll explore how to solve this problem in a later video. For now, I want to show you how you can see performance indicators about each component serving this application. The first are the spark lines on each component. With a single click, I can see the response time of this server, and I can see that it's gotten quite bad, up to 600 milliseconds. I can also see the load, CPU utilization, and memory utilization. The other way to see performance in this view is using link overlays. These control the weight of the purple lines in the map, the TCP dependencies between components. Right now I've selected total response time. That shows me where time is being spent in this environment, a good indicator of where I need to look for a problem. You can see that the thicker purple lines are both pointing at this one web server machine, indicating that a large amount of time in the overall application is being spent just waiting on that one server. I can also select other overlays. I can look at the load to see where transactions are going in the environment, or I could select bytes sent to server to see where network I.O. is taking place. The last thing I want to show you in the Application Explorer is the Events pane at the bottom. This lists any events affecting either this overall application or one of the components in the system. You can see that there's an average response time alert indicating that this application is over a threshold that I set. We'll talk about setting up those alerts in a later video. So that's the Application Explorer, a filtered view for exploring and investigating just the components serving the Myco web application. Let's explore a transaction. To do that, I'm going to go to the Top Transactions tab and double click on a transaction, this login transaction. What you're seeing is the Transaction Explorer. It's similar to the Application Explorer, except it's filtered for just the components serving the login. Just like the Application Explorer, you can see the topology map and the key performance indicators for this transaction. In this case, I'm seeing a response time view of just the login transaction, not the whole application. Besides being filtered for just the components serving the login transaction, there's one other thing that makes this view different than the Application Explorer. That's the traces pane at the bottom. A trace is when FactFinder captures information about an individual transaction, usually when it's slow or has an error. This shows one user's transaction that happened at one instance in time. I can see when these transactions started, how long they took, and who the client was. So that's the Transaction Explorer. Now let's look at the last explorer on our list, the Machine Explorer. To do that, I can either go back to the Application Center and double-click on one of these machines in the list, or, from any of the other explorers, I can select a machine, right-click it, and explore machine in new tab. 
A machine explorer is like the other views except filtered for just the network connections of this one machine. This is useful for isolating this application out of the noise of applications and transactions, especially when it's slow. That concludes the second video in our series, showing you how to explore applications, transactions, and machines. In the next video, we'll show you how to drill down into an individual server for root cause analysis.